And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this special edition uh, Xbox Factor podcast. I am your host, your excited host. Uh, folks, I got to be honest with you. If you wanted Boom Unplugged and Live, I think you're going to get it in spades, folks. Uh, I am going to be playing the trailer in the background as I introduce the panel. What are we here for today, folks? We are here to obviously talk about the Halo Infinite campaign overview. Uh, it was amazing. Um, it is everything that I could have asked for and wanted in a Halo reveal. This is something that we have all been asking for. This is what we've been waiting for. I think it proves that the year delay from 343 Industries was, in fact, worth the wait. Um, as someone who is a huge fan of uh, open world games in the in the form and fashion of Far Cry 6, which is what I'm playing, I feel that 343 has delivered an incredible single player campaign with uh, the story beats that we expect. It's probably going to be a very emotional and, and, and pulse pounding story that you would expect because they are good storytellers. But we are also getting an open world graphics. Uh, like, I mean, like I said, if you walked, I, and I, we were talking about this, I mean, we talked so much in the green room prior to going live that it could have been its own podcast. And I'll say this, uh, and this is not to disrespect anybody. Um, I hear you. Everyone's entitled to your opinion, and I'm not going to ever challenge that. But I will tell you this right now. Uh, if you walked away from this trailer disappointed or any anything other than holy shit i can't believe they did this then you're honestly not a halo fan uh and uh and you can go and you know chill out in the corner by yourself and rock for all i care all, all i know is we're not bringing any of that negativity to here this is everything i wanted but enough of what boom wanted let's get to the panel and then we'll hear uh, the stream should be about 60 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. I'm trying to get more people to jump through. Uh, maybe I can get some, a couple of guys from the Iron Lords to jump in here. Obviously, this is a late, uh, you know, middle of the day stream. People are working, unfortunately. Not everyone's retired like me. But let's get into the introductions, and we'll start first with Cotton McCass. First time on co on camera, Cotton. That's right. Hi, oh, brother. How are you? Oh man, I'm good. This is a this is a good morning for me. I woke up and got some brand new Halo news. I mean, I didn't even know. I didn't even see the announcement of it till last night. You hit me up or like we're doing a show, and I was like, wait, what? What is this? <laughs> and I just like, oh my god! All right, set my alarms um, because I actually was up really late. Had a we had a Halloween party here at my house last night, so I'm feeling it, and I am feeling stoked to talk some Halo with you guys. And thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, it's great to have you here. Next up, someone that has been making the rounds on this show as of recent, uh, as recently as uh, last week, Fuzzy Belvedere. What's up, brother? Are you excited to talk about Halo Infinite's overview? Oh yeah, what what's up, everyone? Uh, yeah, thanks, for, uh, Boom, for having me. Yeah, I'm 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 new to Halo, but that trailer definitely got me excited. There there's some key things, and we'll get into it that I saw that I, I'm really looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna break down the trailer. Um, obviously, we're gonna keep rewinding it. Now, there's no sound. Uh, the reason why there's no sound, folks, is because. I don't necessarily know if we will get a uh, copyright claim. I, Microsoft is usually really good like that, but it does have the Halo music. I just wanted to make sure that uh, we don't, you know, obviously this is, is going to get a lot of views. And the last thing you want to do is get a claim from Microsoft, which would suck. They haven't done that in the past, but, you know, I, I don't want to take any chances. So we will, of course, play this and, and, and continue to loop it through. So just in case you missed it, uh you this you know you you can take a look with us but a returning a returning member of double barrel gaming and 64 josh halo extraordinaire himself what's up dude how are you craig has hair what craig else has hair. Hair to say? <laughs> he sure does like what 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 else is there to say could not be more excited to be here to talk about this game it, i mean they showed us 10 minutes of pure gold there's there's two hours of unpacking in this 10 minute trailer yeah i mean look uh, look uh, you know what let's let's rip off the band-aid let's get right into it josh we have you uh for the show but you do have a meeting in 30 minutes or actually 26 minutes so i want to get your opinion on this look 
the the pressure on three four three to deliver a, 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 an incredible new Halo experience must have been uh, a, a daunting uh, experience. I've I've said it before. I would not want to be three four three Industries or even a member of that team. Not because I don't trust them, because of the pressure that we we as gamers. Now I have been hard on three four three in in past years. Uh, I made my views of, um, you know, Halo 5 very public. I walked away from it graphically. It was beautiful. Uh, the sound was fantastic. Uh, the guns fired like Halo, so it felt good there. But the story was uh, very disappointing for me as a fan. Um, and seeing this 10-minute overview with the graphics being uh up and polished and and mind you this is we, we saw this initially uh, and 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 you're watching it like i'm watching it in 1080p because that's what this 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 software allows when we get this and it's running at uh you know 60 frames per second i i think we're all gonna be just drooling you saw the trailer. You've watched it half a dozen times. I've watched it over a dozen times, and I can going to watch it another f- five or six while we do this show. How do you feel coming out of this overview? Halo's back. Yeah, that's how that's how I feel. I feel like Halo is back. You have to remember when they showed Halo a year ago, the campaign stuff. I was on board. I was like, "Cool, let's Me go." Me too. Right? Yes. Like. I I was actually kind of like shocked that people were so bent out of shape over textures and everything like, I, but see, I think part of that, I come from playing mostly on the switch these days. So I'm used to, I play on the switch every night, brother, every night. There, there are certain games like you try to play Doom on Switch, and you're like, "Yo, these textures are mud." You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) like it's just, it's just the way it is. So, I mean, the fact that they like said, "All right." stop the presses like hold the phone we're going back to the drawing board on this and they delivered i mean you look at the side by side comparison of the of the banished and craig and uh the different times of day on the the halo ring the the fog the mist that was in the trees and you know the details of the sniper the sniper jackals which i love that they showed because those those bastards you know <laughs> like we know yeah. what we can expect from those things so they they delivered as far as i'm concerned right and i mean we we were talking about it beforehand like anybody that was concerned about the the campaign if you played in the flight or or even saw that like what were you what were you worried about like this is the most polished the most polished beta I've ever been a part of. And one of you guys in, in here was like, yo, I've played games that launched not even close to as polished as this. They've, they've got, I mean, chief is going to be a walking tank with all these yeah. new, we got to see the booster, the boosters back, mm-hmm. right? It may not be in multiplayer yet, yeah. but that was, yes. Sort of, yes. That was, that was one of my favorite things in Halo 5. Like, I love the booster. I love the way it changed up encounters in multiplayer. And I love the way it allows you to get out of s- certain situations immediately, right? I, I feel like they they kind of had a little nod at uh, Battlefield. as Oh, uh, they did. As the only in Battlefield <laughs> moment. <Yeah. laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, there was just so much. And... I, I don't know. Again, we're looking at the screenshots right or the 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 video right now. Like I was talking about those different the different scenes and just the way the 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 light is falling on the uh, the surface and the critters, and then seeing like the boss fights inside these outposts. Right. And and what is up with the grapple shot electrocuting the the brutes? Like, look yeah. at that! Like, I I don't know. It, to me, it was just like one thing after another just keep piling the hype on i can't wait to jump into this i can't wait for the update when we can jump into it as a you know four i'm assuming four four people can jump in at once there's just there's so much good going on right now there's a lot going on that's really good uh and i I love it i I love the energy I, i i love everything that you're saying uh and and you're on to something uh one of the things i think that i one of the biggest takeaways 
is that this is not uh yeah like, like we're all og halo fans here right like we all played combat of all folks uh this is not our daddy's halo uh this is a new halo with new ways to tell a story and a lot of new things i mean just just like look in front of you now you a lot of people wanted to know what the job of the pilot is right well we've we, we learned quickly that yeah he, a chief could summon vehicles now i don't necessarily know is is it going to be like uh far cry 6 where you find a vehicle and you like take it to this site to get you know and then you can summon it at any time maybe but the fact that you can uh have these loadouts um one of the things i kind of want to go to you next on this we were talking uh in in the green room every body that plays this game is going to experience a different master chief i i think that in itself is really going to make this one of those water cooler moments to say hey i found base whatever and i fought sub boss whatever did you no i didn't fight that but did you fight this i mean we're seeing master chief grapple and throw bombs at people it's it's just cotton what were your takeaways did 343 deliver absolutely i mean it feels like Halo. I mean, look at even the scene we just saw right there where he picks up the Marines and they're like, oh, yeah, we're saved. And he's like, yeah. And then he just drives off a cliff, <laughs> like mm -hmm. a massive cliff. Like there's like plenty of Halo moments and a lot of like shock moments seeing like the mini bosses. Even look at the mini map here, how detailed it is. It looks a lot like the map that you would see on the Infinity. If you guys remember what that looks like with all yes. of like the, yeah. the detailed and the, uh, the geography. Uh, right here with their first look at seeing that there are these little bases or outposts that you're going to be going through and taking out and probably getting rewards. And that's how you're going to go into this upgrade system they're about to show. And you can upgrade your grapple to have, you know, the electric attachment on it. So you're EMPing vehicles or taking down people's shields. So when you go in, it's just a melee and you have this thruster ability that is a classic ability since what was it in four first and like yes. he has invis at the end like that's something i'm gonna go for immediately <laughs> be just because in legendary being invisible is very close to if not challenged by anything we'll see if there's something that can combat it but it's there's so many ways that you can play this game just from what we're seeing like you like you said you can go about the game completely different than i am and there's instances in other halos where you could do that but it was more about how what weapons you were using and maybe you decided to like speed run the map or not but most of the time they were pretty linear and this yeah. is it's a huge huge change for halo altogether and i mean i can't even imagine what it's going to be like when co-op comes out and how like why if it's delayed because they have something planned where it's like it's not going to be four master chiefs running around the map or where they having problems with okay do your upgrades only sync up with whoever's the host so, you know is my progress only tied to you or is it all like everyone has their own like there's a lot of things that go into it so i don't think people really could grasp why there's no co-op at launch anymore but after seeing this and seeing how little we knew about what the campaign was going to be like and probably how much little we still know considering how big it is i think they nailed it right on the head i mean down specifically for me it's like the art design is so on point i know a lot of people like the art in halo 5 uh, i think it's a beautiful game but this like just seeing how this ai the weapon she's like looks and kind of sounds like cortana she's a new cortana but she's blue and Cortana is like that classic Halo CE like model with the purple, you know, like just little things that stick out to me that just like scream Halo. It just yeah. looks and feels like old, but so fresh. And I just I can't wait to play it. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, again, I, they're all I'll, I'll put it to you this way. What I love about the timing of this is most people, including myself, who run multiple shows could not put a uh, couldn't put my finger on the the vein of when they were going to show this now we all assumed 
right? That we were going to get it at the fifty at the at the uh, the twentieth anniversary on the fifteenth, right? That's we we all thought they were going to hold it for. Now we have some information about that. They said they're not going to be uh, unveiling any new games. That doesn't necessarily mean that we right. won't get currently already announced games like a Hellblade, you know, or something like that. We, we, you know, avowed, we, avowed could be a possibility. Be there, we could get right. an additional. Because I'm going to be honest with you. For me personally, as someone that has an Xbox show, as someone that does three shows a, a, a week, that's always looking for, you know, news, they don't have to do anymore, right? Like 343 and Microsoft could just go radio silent. And I actually right. hope that they do because what we saw in the flighting, which there was three of them, right? There was three and each one was better. Each one was a step up, Right. Uh, let, let, let's get Fuzzy's opinion on this. Fuzzy, what, what did you? What were your takeaways? Well, actually, the scene that we have right now, where we can see the grapple shot, like there are so many finite details that they've added to this uh, reveal compared to what we saw in 2019 or even last year. Um, like seeing this grapple shot, I don't think that was even, you know, part of the the previous trailer that they they created. Having the detail on his armor, the scratches, the wear, you could you could tell it's it's battle worn. It 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 looks like it's been through some stuff. And just all of the 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 visuals they've improved on. Like yeah. I, I know a lot of people were probably that I'll just say that aren't Halo fans were probably looking at this video with with a you know magnifying glasses trying to find stuff. I don't think they're gonna find anything. I I just saw this as like as great as the flights looked, and we already knew that we we always kind of figure well multiplayer usually is like a half step down or something like that as far as visually yes. compared to single player. In regards to polish, the right. the, the, the multiplayer is always going to be the multiplayer, but, you, but you're going to see the the very specific like you who has mentioned it before like the chips in his armor, the scratches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that, funny. You, yeah, Fuzzy, you, you were saying that before. This is something that we did not see in the 2020 reveal that a lot of people walked away disappointed. Yeah. So they they definitely that that year was well worth it at this point. The wait was Oops. worth it because they definitely polished and tweaked and 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 you know just massaged this so much uh in comparison to the previous showing that I I I'm new to Halo, a new fan. You know what? Do yeah. me a favor. T tell your story because it, <laughs> it, it's an interesting story and one that I think we, we need to put into context. You say you're new to Halo. Why yeah. are you new to Halo? I, I I was a PlayStation guy the beginning of last generation through and through. I, I skipped PS2, was PS1 and PS3, went PC in between and avoided Xbox because I didn't like Windows ME and didn't like Windows Vista. So... When Xbox came out, I was like, oh, they can't even do software right. Why am I going to work with a console? <laughs> and then uh, Drive Club happened, which Drive Club, amazing game, but it it was a year delay on the PS4. And when it came out, it it was an online racing game that couldn't go online. And that yeah, it was, it was a very it was a big disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. For, for a couple of months. So it's like I figured, well, it was supposed to be a quote unquote Forza killer. Well, let me see what Forza is about. And I've been happy ever since. You, seen all my video clips and pictures and things like that forza is the go-to for me for racing games right now but with halo i always used to I, being the playstation guy at the time i always used to laugh and i was like why are all these guys lined up around the block around midnight it's not grand theft auto not knowing any better not knowing the history of halo or anything like that and now i see why like the the, the lore the history the 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 camaraderie and stuff like that, that just basically Halo 5 was my intro to Halo. And I had a pretty good time. But like I said, it was my first Halo. I enjoyed the gunplay. I enjoyed the visuals. But what I saw in the flight was even better because, you know, multiplayer being in a squad, because I, I didn't even bother doing the, the co-op for five. I just did you know, a little bit of the, the uh, multiplayer, but finished the campaign. And the multiplayer was mainly doing Forge with my kids, where it was just like, oh, let's see if we can crash and blow up vehicles and who can get the most uh, kill streak or headshots and stuff like that type of thing. 
But um, playing the flight, I was pretty happy with everything I saw in the multiplayer for Halo. And this trailer today, just the, the level of detail, the things that, that really appeal to me are like the mods that you're able to do on your attachments. Like you can actually do loadouts, which I don't remember anything remotely like that in uh, Halo That's very 5. new. Yes. It was just weapons and it's like, okay, you, you can have these certain weapons and that's fine but being able to do like an upgrade to your grapple shot or to your your booster or, or thruster or to drop shields and things like that those i know it's not a looter shooter but those are like the looter shooter-esque type things or rpg like things that i love about games and they always hook me in and it's like the sandbox aspect of being able to go to these outposts and attack it how you want I, I definitely look forward to how each one of our adventures as chief are going to differ. Just like you said, you go through outpost a or, or outpost alpha versus Alf, outpost Charlie or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the, the different ways you can approach that and different outcomes that may, you know, ensue. But yeah, it, that, and the, the, what do you call them? I, I don't know if anybody touched on it before, but the only in battlefield moment in halo now. Yeah. Yeah, that that happened. That you can grapple shot to another vehicle, pull the driver out, like basically what we were doing in multiplayer. Yeah, you can do in camp in the yeah, air, that's which awesome. is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Before I get into, because I, I I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Like I said, I have multiple screens open. Obviously, I'm trying to welcome everybody. I, I noticed there's a conversation going on. I, I need. I got to address it uh, regarding what they show because there, there seems to be a, a misunderstanding of uh, maybe they didn't say they didn't show enough of the of the uh, um uh campaign in regards to what we're doing look I, i'm gonna be honest with you uh i i i i don't know you know what J josh do me a favor while we still have you for a second talk about that for a second and what what do you felt was missing so as I'm reading chat, as I'm thinking about this stuff, and and you're gonna boom, you're gonna laugh at me probably, but you've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, if I'm correct, right? <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. A little, little bit of Animal Crossing there. He's muted right now, so he's probably doing something. But, but he has that game. <laughs> they kind of drip fed the content, right? Because there was so much to do, and I'm getting the same feeling with the uh, with Infinite here that we're gonna have so much. That they're like, you know what? We don't want people to miss out on maybe some of the uh, just the like overall, like there could be so much to explore, right? That we could spend hours and hours and hours and hours in this campaign just just finding different different areas, different outposts. Di I mean, if 343 takes anything out of Bungie's playbook when it comes to Halo, there's going to be Easter eggs. There's going to be like some goofy stuff. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember this or even know this, but Halo 2 in the campaign, you could find a soccer ball on oh, yeah. the roof of a building and you could find a scarab gun on the roof of a building and you had to like get this banshee to hit the loading screen just correct oh, yeah. you know classic glitch classic yeah. easter egg really yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> and so I, I think there's i think they might be doing us a favor by delaying things like forge ah co-op would be cool i get it but right but i don't i i have a feeling they're just like you know what we're gonna sh we're gonna give you a a tiny taste but we really want you to explore this world and, you know, really get uh, the meat and potatoes once you jump in. And that's OK. That's OK. I mean, for those of us that have been Halo fans for a long time, I mean, you know, we typically see just little bite size. This this is this is very typical Halo marketing. Honestly, there's not usually you look at something like Nintendo with Metroid Dread and it was like 15 blog posts and like all like showing different boss fights and because they they're they're trying to market it to people that that haven't seen metroid in like 19 years right we we we, we have a pretty good idea of what to expect with halo they've they've marketed the the multiplayer very well and and i i think they gave us just the right amount of of details with the uh with the i, I i'm not concerned 
whatsoever. Yeah. And we, I, we I know absolutely... there's boss fights. We know we're taking out co like those compounds. Like, and and again, if you really want to pick this thing apart, like I said at the beginning, you could probably go to two to three hours just looking at all the different details and things it would, that, it would, that we it, missed. It would, what what it would do for me is if you're if you're doing that, then you are someone hoping that this game fails and that we don't want to even have you a part of the conversation. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, uh, on but, the flip side, though, boom is as a huge fan. I want to, I want to, I want to look a little closer and see what they did. Cause I mean, they poked fun at Craig. They're like an old friend's return. And it was the <laughs> same spot. It was right? the same spot. So yes. I want to, I want to go frame by frame and go, yeah, look, they, 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 they fixed, they fixed the problem. You know, yeah. I want to, I want to understand the, the loadouts better because they showed that stuff. So, so as a, as a, a super fan, I, I'm not trying to look for anything to pick apart. I want, I don't want to miss a single detail because they they're you know there's hidden stuff in here right you know there's like i mean even even some of the stuff that wasn't hidden just seeing the boosters seeing the 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 brute get electric like it makes me it makes me wonder is this going to be something we see in multiplayer are we going to be able to uh you know like hit, hit the vehicles with the emp if we if we hit them with the uh the grapple what you know, is is the single player the testing grounds for some of the things we might get in multiplayer later? And it, overall, the it just looks and feels epic. I mean, the grunts are running around like the like typical grunts. You know, like this looks very Halo. But I I think one of the things they're they're trying to show us here is the massive, massive scale. world. And yeah, the scale is yeah. huge. And and yeah. reading chat, people are like, oh, I want to go to different worlds. I have a feeling there's going to be so much. <laughs> In my mind, I'm envisioning it as this. You section one is, you know, maybe it's kind of uh early morning hours, and you have like four compounds to take out with four sub bosses. And then when we finally do, maybe something opens up in another, you know, another area of the ring, and then we get to go and explore that. Right. Yeah. I, again, I'm speculating, but no, 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 but, but that, that, that's good. Huge. That, that's actually quite good. That's actually quite uh, uh, deductive because it does make sense that uh, I, I think what you're seeing and I think what we're going to expect from this is that there is going to be a multitude of uh, weather environments. I think we're going to get a snow area. I think we're going to get a right. desert area. I think we're going to get an area like this. Like with because look, I, again, look, here's the thing. Uh, if you're disappointed, and I'm not saying that you are wrong for feeling that, if you are trying to pick apart this 10-minute uh, thing as opposed to what Sony has done, there's no difference, folks. Horizon Zero Dawn didn't show you much of the story. They showed you fighting an elephant and running around from some raptors. That's what it did. It didn't break down story beats because they don't have to. This is a single-player story campaign overview overview for me at least I, I and me being deductive and being reasonable is expecting they're going to show us some gameplay beats they showed us a lot of new things they showed us the map they showed us the rpg element they showed us them saving some marines which is on the screen right now again there are going to be a subset pe a group of people that didn't didn't like this. But you know something? Then that's when you have to sit back and be honest with yourself and, and a community you're trying to argue with that maybe Halo isn't your bag. Maybe this isn't the, your, your type of game. Maybe, you know, Combat Evolve, you played it. It was no big deal for you. And that's fine. If that's your opinion, good on you. Maybe I, you're I, bad at shooters. Maybe you are just <laughs> terrible at shooters. I, I don't know. Look, I, I'm I, what I want to do, Josh, because again, I know that you, you're, 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 you're walking the, 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 the edge of, of madness because I know you have a meeting, but you're not leaving. I do want to welcome in Mav and I want to get his opinion. Mav, first of all, welcome to the program, brother. Didn't know if we were going to have you here, but you are here and we are happy for it. Uh, as a longtime Halo fan, as someone like myself, like everybody here who has con who's a content creator, I got to get your overall feeling from the 10-minute overview that we saw. Impressed, disappointed, somewhere in the middle. Where do you fall? Uh-oh, you're muted, brother. <laughs> My bad. There oh, you go. <laughs> um, thanks for letting me hop in. Uh, oh, from, of course, um, dude. Absolutely. Six minutes and 20 seconds. 
right? That's how long the trailer was. So yes, I think some people are just paying it, uh, attention to that and saying, and we didn't get a big uh, gameplay demo like we did before. But when I look at this and I look at what they showed us in six minutes and 20 seconds, there is so much to dissect as, as a, as a halo fan. Like yeah. I noticed, okay, yeah, it looks better graphically. Yeah. It looks better. That's cool. We already knew it looked better because the halo infinite flight, we've all played it. Right. Yes. If, yes, if, yes, you, yes. if you're thinking it's not going to look better <laughs> after playing that flight, then I don't know who you are. Right. Uh, so obviously it looks better. There's direct comparison screenshots. People are already putting out there. It, it is night and day better, but I don't care about any of that. Right. And it looks cool. I care about everything we are learning from this incredibly put together six minute, 20 second trailer that is full of nuggets for us to learn about this game. Yes. Which is the questions that I had constantly had, like what we need to know what the campaign is besides just this one little segment. Like, right. what are you going to do? be doing? What is there? What, what is your main ob objective? What is this going to play like? Like what is, uh, all these questions, right? We learned so much. You're going to be able to drop in a vehicle of your choice. You're going to go up to that base and you can call in a wasp and just go uh, <laughs> for a flight. Are you kidding me? Like I mean, j j just, just the, I mean, look, look, I I'll say this and I I'll give it, give you the microphone back. If anyone follows me on Xbox live and it's, I, I take friend requests from everybody, even I don't know you. Right. Because I, you know, obviously as a podcaster, you're going to get people that want to follow you. Send me the friend request. I'll accept it. Right. If you've been following me the past, I don't know, 10 days, I'm playing Far Cry six, six, seven hours a day. And again, because I dropped a show and I'm back to only three shows, I've been able to actually play games. Right. Like I've, I've been staying up to one, two o'clock in the morning. I haven't done that in a while. I get up in the morning instead of watching what happened in the NFL last night. Who gives a shit? I'm playing Far Cry six. Everything about this trailer told me that as a person who enjoys just skulking around and looking for trouble, I'm going to get it in spades and I'm going to get the division meets far cry meets assassin's creed and basically what they've yes. done is completely just put a halo skin over it and on top of that we are getting a 10-year plan I, I know there's some questions i'm trying to see who asked someone asked a great question is there going to be any content after you beat the story yes there is uh, those that rumored story mission where we could get some lock use, we could get some, um, you know, uh, a bunch of characters that we've never played before, get their story. All of that is expected. But to walk away and say, I didn't get enough story campaign after what I've just watched for like the 15th time, I got to be honest with you, man. I think you're pulling at straws. And there's a, there's a, there's a point of, do you want this game and 343 to fail because you hate Xbox or or do you actually legitimately have questions because I'm starting to wonder and I'm not picking on any particular person I'm saying this is a general statement you cannot walk away from today's 6 minutes and 20 second overview and be like yeah that sucks that's a POS I don't know. I got to be honest. I think that if you walked away from it, then maybe Xbox and Halo isn't for you. But by all means, continue, Matt. Yeah, I think you're hitting the nail on the head there. I think uh, there's a lot of people. Uh, one thing that don't understand really what Halo is, like uh, like Fuzzy was kind of saying before, like he was new to Halo, right? And if you don't really have a grasp of what Halo is, you're going to come into this. And you're going to see similar things to some other types of games. You'd be like, okay, yeah, this is kind of familiar but it looks like Halo. I'm really not into that. Uh, if you are somebody that has a history with Halo and you understand the, the gameplay aspects of Halo and how solid it is, how, how big the lore is, how big the story is, how amazing the characters are, the history and everything that goes into it, and you see what they are accomplishing with this game and making it pretty much what... You know, 10, 15 years ago, people would have dreamt that this could be possible one day. Yeah. Yes. That yes. in the future, 
could we have access to this halo ring and pretty much go wherever we want and drive whatever kind of vehicle we want and have these different uh armor abilities and and have these different gameplay segments that are just amazing but still keep the story intact and still keep this amazing story and we're getting that that's what this overview is about too it's showcasing these aspects it's showcasing the focus on character and story they're implementing new enemies that are incredible. Do you, you see the gate? The guy there is like Jenga, the yeah. elite. Uh, that's like, uh, been, it looks like he's been through hell and back a million times, and he's labeled a Spartan. But mini killer, boss and fights, man. And he's hunting you. He's hunting you. Yeah, you you learn that you were being, it is amazing. Yeah, you learn that you're being hunted in this game. You're learning. Well, you know that what? You're you know what's funny? Let, and all this let me stuff. just stop you right there for a second, Mav. Look at the map when when they show Master Chief and they show all of the deceased. Right? Yeah. Right. How many people? I mean, we don't know if that is colonies. We don't know if that is specific Spartans. Uh, yeah. We don't know who that is, but they're all dead, right? I have, and, I have and a they, theory. <laughs> and we, you know, we will get your theory momentarily, <laughs> but you you are on to something. Yeah. Again, if you wanted to see something new and old. My God, they figured out to, and they did it in six minutes and 20 seconds. Matt, please continue. Yeah, like I just want to go back into the 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 reason this trailer was put out was two reasons. They showcase the visuals, which we can all obviously see are upgraded, but to go deep dive, if you go and watch this trailer, it's full of segments where you learn things. The Spartan points, using Spartan points to upgrade your abilities is new for Halo, right? Um, having the uh, different abilities, it looks like you can choose between them in the actual uh, menu screen. So you're not only relying potentially on pickups, right? There's a lot of information here. The, uh, the fact, like I said, you're being hunted and the fact that there's other bosses around there. Uh, what is that? What does that mean? Are like, are they going to hunt you? Kind of similar to like the Nemesis type system, where they could potentially uh, creep up on you at different yeah. times. I didn't even think about that, dude. Or wow. Are, are they going to potentially be uh, just specific, where you have to hunt them down? Also, you see things within the menu system and stuff like that. They show you a couple different glimpses. You can also see how they, when you upgrade the the thrusters, and I also noticed once he was using invisibility and the thrusters at the same time. So exactly yeah. how does that work with the, with the equipment and all these kind of things? You're, you're learning a lot to dissect here with this trailer, and they did that on purpose to give Halo fans who understand Halo more information to understand exactly all the aspects of this game. And it's just absolutely amazing. Plus, they tied it all through with the story narrative, focusing on Cortana and all of that stuff as well. So a uh, masterfully put together trailer. The game looks 10 times better than it did a year ago with the, uh, all the detail. If you, if you go and look at his armor in some of the same scenes, it has so much more um, like scratches and, and gashes and, and, and dirt and mud and stuff. It just, Imperfections it, it, you could visually see. Yes, 100%. Like even that shot, that shot right there. I mean, just there's so much more to look into with this that they put so much effort and um it's night and day over a year ago visually uh detail wise which is what people complained about people are saying oh it still looks like the same game well yeah it still looks like halo what do you expect <laughs> and, I mean, and it's not going to look like a different game all of a sudden it's still going to look like halo but it's more detailed and more polished and that's what people were asking for and this is what they're delivering on and proving right now Plus, you get this deep insight into all these gameplay aspects. Uh, just go into it and watch it and learn about this game because that's what this trailer is for. You know, and that's the thing. Like, they they obviously touched on who the Banish are, right? Now, now, again, obviously, if you played Halo Wars, you know who the Banished are. If you read any of the books, you know who the Banished are. But they did enough in the trailer to say that, yeah, humanity is in a really bad way. And what, what they did for for me anyway is you know depending on you know your mileage is going to vary on where you how you feel of the chief you know is he is he your hero or not is he your superman is he your spider-man i gotta be honest they made him feel like a superhero up against the world 
right? I, I, and and I think that they did it in a way that you know his partner obviously is the AI, the new AI known as only as, a, as for right now is the weapon, right? Um, look, this vertical slice or however you want to put it was done in a way that I think there's a re look, look, folks, here's the thing. Just go and look at the socials. Well, do you know what's trending? Not Nintendo, not Sony, Xbox, and more, more importantly, Halo is trending for a reason. It's trending because we've all wanted it to come back in a big way. And here it is. It, they delivered. I got to get the cotton, but cotton before I get to your brother, I definitely got to get these super chats because it's been, man, yeah. there's been quite a few of them. And I don't want to leave anybody behind. Um, obviously, I would feel really crummy if I did. Let's get to the super chats. The first one of the day comes to us from our good friend Bunty, who actually gave me a shout out on the Iron Lords podcast. He drops a five dollar super chat and says, "We'll have to listen later." Boom! Keep up the good work. Love that Halo reveal. Can't wait to hear everyone's opinion later. Well, listen, brother, this is only part one because tonight at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, not only do we have two young guests joining us from a new and upcoming uh, podcast out of Hawaii of all places, which I cannot wait to talk with these two gentlemen. You're going to get this all over again. Uh, I had to scrap an entirely written show that I'm probably going to push forward uh, to either Tuesday or potentially Friday because all the guys on the primetime gaming panel want to give their opinion. And it's probably going to be at least um, you know, 60, 90 minutes of tonight's show. We're also going to be trying to get in there the conversation that happened with, of course, Matt Booty. He said some very specific things that lead me to believe some studios that they're working with may have already been acquired. They're just not ready to announce it yet or in a rush to announce it. That show is going to be live tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Double Barrel Gaming. And before I get to the Super Chat, folks, we got 500 people here, which is amazing. And I'm sure that there are a lot of new members, uh, well, new, new viewers, I should say. If you're new, if you are enjoying the content, the conversation, the layout, do me a favor. Consider subscribing to Double Barrel Gaming. We just crossed 9,000 subs a, a week ago Obviously, we the, the, the most important number for me right now is to hit that 10K. It really will do a lot for the channel, specifically with the algorithm on YouTube. Once you hit that 10K, it, you become a, a part of the upper echelon. Not the 100K guys, you know, but close. And uh, we want to get there. And uh, I haven't even celebrated the fourth year of the channel and been able to do this good for this uh, in this amount of time. So that's the help of... Many people who have watched the show, if you're new, please consider subscribing. But thank you, Bunty. We have Kobini Gaming drops a very generous five dollars super chat and says, "Boom! Please stop! Please stop these ponies! They're trying to put Halo down so bad, nitpicking everything. Stop! Uh, uh, stop! Stop these guys, uh, sir! Keep up the great work." But listen, the bottom line is, and I, and I said it once before, and I will say it again. Look, um, my, I wear my. On my sh on my sleeve that I'm an Xbox dude first, right? But does that mean that I come out of my way to shit on Sony? No. Do I shit on Nintendo? No. I play them just as much, uh, but I play them for specific reasons. Um, they're only for, I only go to those those houses for multiplayer. Everything else, I'm not multiplayer. Uh, um, you know, for uh, first party, that's it. Everything else is Xbox, but that doesn't mean I have to go out of my way to be a jerk about it. Um, and you're not going to get that here. Um, Sony will get the business when they make mistakes. And quite frankly, they've been making a lot of mistakes. Nintendo, w we were just hard on them because of their pricing with the with the new thing that launched today with the N64 games. That's pretty egregious. And they're going to continue to do it. So they'll get the business. And when Microsoft makes a boo-boo like they did last week with Fable, we will give them the business. But we will do it in a way that is trying to figure out why it happened. We don't go out of our way to be jerks. Not, no one on any of my panels goes out of the way to be an asshole. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get honesty. And uh, thank you so much for that, brother. Crazy Lou Gaming drops a very generous $10 super chat and says, yes, I'm disappointed because we still have 44 days left <laughs> to play this awesome game. Yeah, that's a great one, Crazy Lou. Thank you for the generosity. Elemental P.O., good friend, generous friend of the show. He drops 
a $10 super chat says, good afternoon panel. Halo 6 looks super clean. And I'm happy that uh, it's not a motion blur mess like the other games. Can you imagine once they add ray tracing eventually after launch looks like pure fun? Yeah, I think that's really what everyone took away from. So thank you for that. Chaos Might drops a very generous $5 super chat and says, the only issue... I have is that the new AI sounds like an annoying teenager. Other than that, I love the campaign that was shown. You know what? I, I you know here's the thing. I think you might be onto something, but I think that because we are learning about her out of context, I think that once we right. she she's gonna grow on us the same way Cortana did. I just think that we're seeing her speak out of context, so she might seem like one of those annoying kids. The but other I thing, think, boom, she's yes, brand sir. new. So she right. doesn't have she young. is yeah. brand She's new young. indeed. Yeah. yeah, she is brand new. That's a that's a fantastic point. So maybe, I mean, maybe she'll grow on you, maybe she won't, but we will certainly find out in the coming months, uh coming uh, months, month, month and a half uh, when when it releases December 8th. But Jerron TJ, generous from the show, he says after dropping a five-hour super chat, morning guys, best halo ever. Indeed, I think it might be. And Jonathan Lopez drops a very generous five dollar super chat and says, Thanks, Boom, for helping me on Twitter. I'm the guy who asked about podcasts being on other platforms, just showing support and many thanks. Hit the like button. Well, Jonathan, thank you. I'm glad I could help, brother. I was having an issue with Spotify uploading my stuff. It just kept giving me errors. I reached out to um, customer support, and it didn't help. So it finally got worked out. So uh, if you are someone that doesn't usually go to YouTube um, for these podcasts, understand that um, starting today every live stream is going to be uploaded and put onto all of your favorite uh podcast services that includes apple Podcasts, spotify uh google google podcast everything uh so you'll be able to find it there but uh cotton let, let, let's get you let's bring you in on the conversation uh many people I, again Look, we, 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 we don't argue with opinions because we know what they say. Opinions are like a-holes. Everyone has one, right? And right. if you have a negative opinion, well, I'm not going to beat you up on it because that's your opinion. But there, there has to be some truth to the word that you are speaking. And if you're walking away saying that this didn't do it for you, there are two reasons. One, you are one of these subset of people that want to see Xbox and Microsoft, specifically 343 Industries, fail. If that's your bag, well, then you're, you're not going to get any play here. You, people are going <laughs> to boo you and you're going to be booed out the room because it's just rubbish. And if and and, 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 and maybe, again, we, the se second part of the conversation is, well, maybe Xbox and Halo isn't for you. Maybe this isn't your bag. And you know what? You can keep your opinion. Cotton, we, we, we talked about the takeaways. I want to get your opinion on the story. Now, I, I got a grasp on it, and I don't read the novels. Like, I didn't play all the way through Halo Wars 2 because, you know, I like RTSs, but I don't love them. So right. I so but for me, I, I understand what was happening. Why are some people suggesting that there wasn't enough story elements to this uh, six minute and 20 second reveal? Well, I mean, I think there was, I mean, for someone who's probably really die hard and you just only want to know about the story, like you want to know about is Mendicate bias involved, like you, who people want to know, like deep cuts, right? Which that's something they're saving for, for, for launch. So, right, of course. And I think they did an excellent job with just even having um, Cortana voice over the whole thing. It gives you like, just like the feeling like you are getting a story, like breakdown. It just brings you into the world more. Um, as far as like what could be going on, I mean, with the new AI with the weapon, she is brand new. Like Matt said, I mean, when right here when he walks up to her, she's like, "It's it's been six months. Like, where you been?" And we don't really have any idea. And right here, he's going through all this this wreckage in space, right? Um, you know, is it possible that we have kind of like a, a start off to this game that's kind of uh, similar to Mass Effect Two, you know? And then like like you have this battle with the infinity or i mean there's a frigate in the background there or, or those banished ships i don't even I think know what i those... think it's a, i don't know if that's a banished ship yeah there's two of them there's one on each side yeah. so hard to say but maybe the infinity um got in war with a with a guardian you know and it got destroyed and that's all this wreckage you're seeing on the ground that's why we have marines on and like who are stranded or maybe it's even the spirit of fire you know who knows like who knows what it could be when maybe 
uh, she got stuck there, and now Chief is like been stranded in space, and you see there was this massive, all these deceased marks here. There's a lot that happened. Maybe there's a prologue that like throws you in, you know, and you're kind of like figuring out what exactly happened. Who knows? But it, I think they're gonna knock it out of the park. I mean, they're they're it is Halo. Like this world is deep. There's a lot of lore in this game. I mean, even all going back to Halo Three with all the the terminals, like talking about mendicant bias and and the didact and all these you know the the library and all these things came to fruition a lot of them did in four and in five and like the world's only gotten bigger i just i feel like there was a big war and now she's been waiting and there's even a moment in the trailer where she's like oh maybe it's a friend coming through he's like it's not you know like she's a bit naive and you're gonna she'll grow on you and she'll get smarter probably even faster than cortana did because she's supposed to be like you know, she's the weapon to combat against Cortana, who is like a, a superpower at this point in the world. So I, mean, I think it's going to be massive. It's cool to see how they have Brohammer is the guy who's going to be, you know, bringing in your uh, your weapons and dropping off stuff for you and how that's exactly going to work. Like you said earlier, are you going to have to find a wasp somewhere on the map and now you have it unlocked you know and you can that's order it. very interesting you know again it, it's very similar and i hate to keep bringing it up but it's it, it's the most one-to-one uh i could actually talk about and that's far cry when right when, when you find a specific uh vehicle and you bring it in now i don't know if they're going to do it the same way if you just find the vehicle like for instance she when uh, when when you found the tank she goes oh this is interesting so maybe right. you can just drop a tank and again, there were some questions, Cotton, as to who and what the pilot was going to be for Master Chief. Now, yeah. I think that was very explained. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it is explained, and it's cool because it takes you back to to uh, Fohammer, who was the Pelican drop yes. chick, who you had a lot of dialogue, not a lot, but a decent amount of dialogue in that memorable moment on the Maw in Halo CE, where you know she's coming in to get you, and it, it crashes, and she's done. You know, like. And you're gonna have this relationship with this new guy, and just it's just cool. There's a lot of nostalgic feeling about this game, but the way that it is open world, it's like they can do so much more with it. And who knows if you're gonna have to use these Spartan cores that you upgrade your armor with to spend on vehicles, or like if not, because there's maybe there's only a limited amount of them for how many hideouts or outposts you take out. And maybe, like you said, you find the Scorpion take at a certain outpost and now it's unlocked and you can get it at different drop zones or who knows. But it's like it completely changes the game for Halo at this point. You know, there's not just going to be your one Warhog run level. There's not going to be just your one tank level. Yes. You know, like you're going to be able to go at these different encounters kind of however you want, it seems like, you know, given that you've unlocked or have the upgrades that you want to use and i mean it's just it's so crazy to see halo come from linear two-player co-op missions and then you know what they did with five and now all the way to this point even with the mini bosses like how warzone has those bosses come in with health health bars and halo 5 to play that and you have mini bosses in here uh, who knows? Like, I want to see like what what's a big boss fight gonna be like. This, I think though, right here when you see that brute, I forget his name. Um, he's a lieutenant. Yeah, he looks. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember that scene from the 2020 reveal when he's talking. Yes, yes. it's a yeah, tremendous right. difference. And you oh, know something? It's funny. Insane. I, I think that they they did two specific uh, callbacks. Uh, one where they drop where Craig was born, right? right which exactly. we just saw at the end of this trailer, yeah. and they showed at the end. I mean, again, you don't. I mean, do I need to lend people my glasses to see what right. I saw? Well, because even that a opening difference. shot, boom! Uh, when Chief's floating in space, he has the grapple shot uh, hanging yeah. from his arm. Yeah, it's funny which because that's exactly what Fuzzy said. Um, yeah. And when he's in the armor lock, he has it dangling uh, as well. Right. right. Yeah. So even those were taken from that original trailer. But if you, there's already screenshots online with direct comparisons, and yeah. the detail is way uh, increased now. Yeah. 
yeah, the environments look awesome. I mean, this kind of right here with the the wildlife, like you remember the first reveal trailer where they just had like you know the scenic um, shots of you had the wildlife like running around, like even on what was uh on fragmentation, people were going crazy about the space gophers. Like you're gonna see a lot of detail in this game, and even uh, Josh was going on about like you know Halo's infamous for Easter eggs, like. There's, I just imagine what you're going to be able to find in this game when you just take time and slow down and look at stuff. I feel like people who want to go frame by frame and pause and try to find um, imperfections in the game are going to end up taking their time in the game and finding stuff that they would be shocked by that they took the time to put in the game. I think the story is going to and blow I, people away. Yeah, and I, and I definitely think you're onto something with that. The, 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 uh, the replay, replayability... Yeah. I think is going to be a big factor because like I said, one of my biggest things, is I don't want to finish a game I'm playing right now because I'm quite enjoying just running around from, you know, from the, from the point to point beats yeah, and, you know, taking over a base, finding a new weapon, going hunting. Now, obviously you're not going to do a lot of that here, um, but you are, but the fact that you can jump into, and again, we don't know if you can jump into a pelican. We don't know if, if it's going to be the wasp. But we know that if you want to get jump into a wasp and just say, hey, listen, I know that right over on this part of the map is where the main story beat is. But I can go over here and find a, a, a pelican that's down. Marines right. are under fire. Or I can go and maybe find – maybe you'll – and again, you said it. Um, 343 in the past, in the past two Halos that they did – have always littered it with uh, Easter eggs. Yeah. I think that if you're someone that really wants to learn about the lore, there are, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you've ever followed the books, and I haven't read any of the books, but I know that they, they've talked about uh, Halo, uh, about Zeta being the yeah. potential birthplace of the Flood, right? Now, we heard that the Flood might be back. We don't know, but we're pretty sure that they're going to be back in some way or another. You know, maybe you're going to find out how the flood was created. Maybe it was created by man. We don't. We don't know, right? Maybe you're going to get some forerunner information. I mean, the 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 female lead that that called the uh, forerunners liars, right? We, yeah, we, the harboring, that, that, harboring yeah, or whatever her the, yeah, name she, was. She she kicked Master Chief through freaking a tree and a wall. Right, yeah. so, <laughs> like so, him through like a portal almost. That was a crazy scene, man. May, maybe wow. Har Harbinger maybe, of Truth. Is what yeah, is. maybe we get some backstory to who she is. Obviously, you're going to get that in the story. But I'm talking about maybe some hidden stuff that you right. will only find if you go looking for it. Right. Yeah. Which is cool to see that they're. I mean, Gears Five kind of played with this like semi-open world and like there yes. was stuff you could do, but in the end, it was a little bit lackluster as to like what was going a little on empty. A little right empty. yeah but this seems like you're right like you might get additional story beats or like maybe you know is there skulls is there terminals are they hidden through these like these different outposts or like you know what i mean and what do you besides getting actual upgrades like this like the like getting your spartan points and upgrading your thruster to activate camo at the end of it like what else are you going to get from just exploring this world? I think you're going to get a lot of context. Yeah, I, I, 100%. I, I do want to want to bring in Fuzzy, and then we obviously, folks, this is only meant to be about an hour, man. We're already, we're already, we're almost at an hour. Listen, folks, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. we have a few more things to get into. Uh, then, of course, I'm hoping that everyone does come back for tonight. Uh, you know, primetime gaming. Uh, the panel is. I've been back and forth with them. None of them have been able to give their opinion because they're all working. We're going to be coming yeah. back here at 7 p.m. to give their opinion. Uh, but I do want to catch up on a couple of the super chats that I was that that came in after Jonathan Lopez. We have I'm a easy drops a very generous five dollars super chat says hi y'all. Got to be honest, even a Battlefield diehard like me is excited to play Halo Infinite. I'm a big fan. Of the new R uh, of the new RPG and open world elements. I mean, look there you go. And uh, Aaron JF ninety four, friend of the show, he drops a ten dollars super chat and says, "Boom! I'm going through a hard time right now, dude, and I'm so sorry that you are." He says, "But my God, I needed something to listen to. You guys brought me out of my panic attack again. Just wanted to thank you, Boom! Well, no, do it. Let's let's thank you for being here." Um, Again, it's it's one of the reasons why I added the fourth show during COVID when it first started. A lot of people needed an out. Um, and obviously, being ex-law enforcement, I can't help people the way I used to help people anymore. And this is the way that I do it. And the fact that 
I'm helping you in any way possible. Honestly, warms my heart and makes me feel like I didn't just retire to wither and die, that I'm actually doing something worthy of what I used to do. And that, of course, is help as many people at, at, that ever crossed my path. So I'm glad that that helped you, brother. And thank you for the generosity. We have Phase 114. Drops a very generous $2 super chat. Says some people just want Xbox to die for the clicks. And yes, we will not mention those folks, but we know that they do exist. And that's actually quite a sad experience, uh, an existence, I should say. Uh, Lethal Terminus drops a very generous $2 super chat and says, um, I... Eshram looks great. Uh, can't wait to see more of him. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely agree. I, I mean, I, I, it's, it, that's the um, the Spartan killer, correct? I think so. Yeah, I, th- I think I think it's it is. That's big uh, uh, Radom Nye or some something like that. I can't remember yeah. the name, but uh, it, yeah, the Spartan killer. Yeah, it looks looks really good. OCD gamer drops a very generous two dollars super chat. Thank you for being there, brother. Never been a better time to be an Xbox gamer. Indeed, my brother. Lots of great news for Xbox. Uh, Corbini Gaming drops an additional five dollars super chat. Says, boom! I noticed something at the end of the video this morning. The title screen did not show Xbox One on it. If you look close, it's nowhere to be found. I, well, you know what? Here's the thing. I, You might be onto something. I did notice that. But I, I think that with the old Xbox consoles being able to use the ability of the cloud, I don't necessarily think that, you know, m- maybe that's a thing. Maybe there's no specific Xbox One version that you're going to be able to play off the cloud. I- I'm not sure, but that is an interesting theory. Nightcrawler's podcast drops a five dollars super chat and says, Morning booming panel. You've been a huge motiva- motivator for me to finally launch my own show. Much love and respect. As for Halo, holy S word, Dusty. Well, Dusty, hit me up in the DM, brother. Let if you have your own show and you ever want to be on one of mine, let's make that happen, brother. I'm always about introducing new voices, and I can help promote your podcast, get people to come and check it out. So, brother, hit me up in a DM, and we will talk more. Um, Fuzzy, let's let's get your final opinion on this, and then we'll get mm-hmm. uh, Josh and Matt and get everyone out of here. The story concern is there room for it, or is it just hogwash? I, I think it's hogwash because, like I said. Playing Halo Five and how that ended with uh, Cortana and everything, I mm-hmm. I kind of understand where the new AI, the weapon, is is coming from. It's just like there's a gap in time, and I guess that's where you know Chief is floating in space type of deal. So there there's enough story to kind of get the gist of what you're you're set to do. They're not going to give you all the details. Like it, it's not like a movie where they show the beginning, the middle, and the end as far as spoilers in, in the movie trailer. They just want to give you an idea. Hey, right. your mission is going to be to find out is Cortana still out there and what, what she's doing and how we can get the weapon to, you know, deactivate her or whatever. That's enough. That And 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 seeing the action and, and the outposts and stuff that you're going to go through, I'm pretty sure that's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yes. The fact that we have so many other like module upgrades and things like that that we can work with and in different approaches of things. I look back at the GTA five trailer. Like the biggest thing they showed was just somebody driving around and you didn't even know who the main <laughs> character was in the first trailer. So it was it's 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 a non-issue. I, I think there's enough there to kind of get the gist of it. You don't want to know the whole story beginning and through the end in a trailer. I mean, if you do, then why are you playing the game then? I, I don't know. But I I think there's enough there to keep you interested, to have you motivated to at least reach the in or reach the answer of where Katana is and, and whatnot and go from there. And that's that's how I'm gonna approach it. Yeah. Uh, uh, big shout out to Jordy from Xbox Era. As a matter of fact, he's going to be eventually guest appearing on one of my shows in a future episode. We're working behind the scenes. And uh, in the next couple of weeks, folks, we're going to be having special Nick join us back to back weeks. Uh, finally, we get a chance to hang out with him. I believe it's going to be on Primetime Gaming. Love what those guys are doing over there. And they're so close to 10K. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Xbox Era. Please head over there and sub, sub me as well. And, and of course, sub um xbox era but yeah great point i i think you're on to something now folks like a movie trailer and that's a that's a great one to one 
Uh, how much of the freaking story do you actually want? Does anybody want to be surprised? Because, yeah, uh, I do. And I'm glad that they showed enough for me to get me hype. And obviously, um, I love the... There were some subtle digs as to, hey, listen, we know that you, you know some people had complaints of the last one. Boom, 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 boom. And they dropped some stuff in there. You know, obviously Craig's face had some hair on it this time. It just, it, I thought it was well done. Big, big friend of the show, Smitty Smith says, "Good news always drops in the beginning of the week. That's why Halo campaign overview was dropped today. The Book of X, indeed, my brother, indeed." Uh, but uh, Josh, let's get your final opinion on this. Uh, I know we went to you before. We talked about story. Uh, hearing everyone so far, uh, should, should is there any concern for this game, or have they answered all of the questions for you as a longtime fan? Uh, <clears throat> there's very little concern, and there's tons of questions, right? Uh, we were talking about the Spartan Killer. He's wearing Locke's helmet as yes. a shoulder pad. Yes, he is. Right? Yes. Like, How I, did that happen? Is Locke really dead? I I Okay. I'm going to say this. I think I think it's foolish to think that this game starts with us on this ring. I yeah. think we are going to potentially play as Locke oh, right up boy. until the point of his demise. Holy moly. And 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 then see Chief bring that hope back. Like we need to know why hope is needed. We need that we need there needs to be story elements yeah on on what you know you guys are we're, we're talking in a little private chat you know talking about all those markers of all those deceased what's what's happened there right what's why was chief floating through space right what, what's what's happened there what like there's plenty to unpack they've just kind of shown us here's the world here's where you're gonna be they i mean if you guys remember the marketing for halo 5 yeah. That was like that was that was incredible. The podcast, yeah, I listened truth. to it multiple times. Loved Same. it. Like it was amazing, but I think it built up expectations that then they didn't they didn't deliver. And I feel like this time around, they're like, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna kind of drip feed this, and we're gonna we're gonna let the game speak for itself. And I mean, we. The different things we've seen, the new enemies that are like, what was that about? They're flying around, they're holding that orb. Like, th there's so much here. There's so much here. I'm I'm not concerned in the slightest. I I love these 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 boss fights. I want to know more about them. You know, like I have a handful of them. They're they're action figures already, <laughs> and like like it to me, it's just. It, there's there's so much cool stuff just watching the trailer over and over again as we've been chatting we're gonna be able to like it looks like you can fly up to the top of the mountains it's it, this is almost like breath of the Jump. wild halo yes. right it's like if you can see it you can go to it like like that's that's gonna be incredible and there there's no way they're just gonna be like and here we go get on the ring no look at the way halo 2 started we were in the space station and then we went down to earth and then we went to another ring, right? Like, yeah, all over this, this isn't just starting. We, we could see, you know, there's the potential to see a big fight on earth. I mean, we have multiplayer maps. We, taking well, we place have to find out. I, 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 there's a lot. That, again, you said questions. You have a lot of questions and I have a lot of questions too. Like what mm -hmm. happened to the ship? What, yeah. what, what, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Mav actually talk, mentioned it in, in the private chat. W what happened to the Infinity? Was it destroyed? Is that what he's looking at? That all of those ODST and Marines are dead? Did they kill? You know, is Earth gone? Did they glass Earth? I, we don't know. <laughs> so I, I actually think that you're onto something. I don't think it starts here. I think this, this might be four hours, three hours into the story that we get to Chief. Maybe we do start off with Locke. You see, my, my problem with Locke isn't I didn't enjoy him as a character. My problem is that 343 didn't build him the way a proper character story arc was. We had the movie. We had the little film, the short film. 
what if they do we we do find out what happened to Locke? That's gonna be dope. I think we're gonna get stories like that that are gonna be DLC for free that are gonna be thrown in there. You're gonna be able to pick character, whatever, play their story, and it's gonna somehow incorporate into the overall 10-year plan. But I, I love what you're putting down there, brother. Yeah, I mean, even the, the original trailer, like it's chief floating in space. Like that that's not just gonna they're they're not gonna just leave us like Oh, he's apparently in space. Like, there's gonna be reason for that, you know. And I, if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, maybe you guys can. But I feel like, you know, when we were delivering that bomb, wasn't that part of the original like uh, marketing in Halo Two? Like, I feel like there was some of the like when they showed stuff at E3 or whatever. I feel like it was kind of that that first that first level, and like that was all super epic. And then of course we ended up on a Halo ring. So is the entire story all right. open world? Maybe not. Maybe it is somewhat linear at the beginning. Play. I, I think like, I think we're gonna see, and I, and it's funny. I, think, I said that uh, I said I actually it's funny. Yeah, we were talking about that in the green room. I said this on the Iron Lords podcast. Um, I think what you're gonna get is th this is gonna cover both the traditionalists, Halo fan. And as well as the new fan, I, I think that the story beats may be that claustrophobic closed counter room filled with X, you know, a bad guy that you have to go and you have to and it will unfold the story as you continue. But I think that besides that, once you're done and you get to the open world, hey, listen, go crazy, go wherever the hell you want. Yeah. Let, let's let's have this start like the end of empire strikes back oh you know? my god yes where yes. it's like we're we're at a we're at a deficit i mean i just i was just watching all those things switch to deceased and the the one name i caught said infinity right, right. so oh, they all say infinity next to them they do okay so yeah i, I don't <laughs> i mean it looks like it's uh it looks like it's 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 gonna start out rough and that's good i mean this this game doesn't have that that sterile look that Halo Five had. Like part of the the joy of like Star Wars is like that used future and you know Empire having things having things like dirty, not turning out great, yes, right? Yes, and yes. like like what's like how does Chief find out about this the the weapon? We need we need to know these story elements, right. and they're not telling us, and that's good because that's what those are the questions we're all asking, and that's what's going to make us want to dive into this and 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 find out what because I mean, longtime Halo fan, the story's really never been super fantastic. It's always been a little bit kind of like the first Halo was was incredible and they then they kind of got weird with grave mine and yeah great you, yeah you no know, <laughs> like it, it 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 wasn't like it was it was fun to play there was always fun to play but i mean the, i felt like there's been better stories told in the books and 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 outside even halo wars had some great some great story stuff so reach uh, was great man reach was great yes I won't. I, there's no no question there. Reach was 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 top notch, and I even really enjoyed four. I thought four was really cool. And, I, and I enjoyed four. I, I didn't like the multiplayer, but I did dig the single player campaign. I again, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a fan of the Prometheans, man. I just I they, they were very samey for yeah, me. Just, again, that's too, just, that, too that's sterile and, yeah. and and like they 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 didn't have the charm of you know of the grunts like like talking running crap to you and running for cover and like screaming with the nades in their hands, you know, like that's all part of the charm of, of halo. And, and they just, they, they were just, you know, like why so serious? You know, they were just, <laughs> they were just too serious all the time. Like, Oh my like, goodness. Have fun as a bad guy, you know? Yeah. No, no. I mean, listen again, everyone has some great things, Matt. First of all, let's get you, let's get your final opinion. I'm going to get everyone out of here. I want to thank, we had folks, we had 525 people here for today's stream. That is awesome. And obviously I'm hoping that same 525 plus another 300 come back for tonight's primetime gaming at 7 p.m we're gonna have an incredible panel uh we're gonna be talking all halo uh we're, we're gonna try and get the matt booty interview in there but i don't know if we're gonna be able to do it because it is a big panel and right now all that matters right now is halo but mav final opinion brother um 
I mean, just to, just your takeaways from the trailer because we didn't get that to, to open up like we did with everyone else, and uh, we'll get everyone out of here. Yeah, this is like I said, this is like candy for Halo fans to just dissect. Yeah, and indeed. dig through. I uh, re- keep referencing that shot and of it looks like it's space with all these icons floating, and then they all change to deceased. I mean, if you if you pause and you look through that, you see ODST tags. You see U.S. Marine Corps tags, and they all say Infinity next to them. Uh, and you also see Osiris tags, which uh, is absolutely, did- uh, well, I think it's Osiris. I, I, I Somebody go and dissect that even further. Uh, I'm 100%, but like it's, it's is insane. There's a couple I mean, the, what, what, that, what that basically means is, is they killed the entire team. I, I don't and, know. And, I can make out one name next to it, which makes me like what question everything. It's named Brennan next mm. to one of those uh, pyramid tags. Uh, so th- th- anyway, there's there's a lot going on here to dig through, guys. Um, and for everybody focusing on the visuals, right? I get that. It, it obviously looks improved, right? Uh, well, everything. There's nothing everything to worry about now. there. Fidelity is. Um, they have to not spoil a lot with these trailers, and that's why it's they can't just completely show what the whole story is about. But they gave enough nuggets in here for us to try and piece things together, which is crazy to me. Like uh, I love doing this stuff, and I'm, I'm later I'm going to do something where I'm going to dissect this and kind of see dude. what did what did we learn from this trailer because there's a lot here about the Halo uh, that we can kind of dig through. And uh, I'm super excited to do that. Uh, they freaking are nailing this game. It's like my dream come true. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm pumped. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, I, I think that, you know, you have a multitude of shows uh, that you are obviously going to be producing for the rest of the week. Uh, I have obviously the Xbox Factor tomorrow, prime time tonight, Friday mornings, breakfast at Boom. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I think at some point or another, we're still going to be talking Halo. Sure, I'm, of course, I'm going to bring in new content because there's been a lot, a lot of Xbox news uh, in the last couple of days. And this is this is the best cherry on top of the sun that you could have asked for, folks. Uh, real quick, Dan the Man Cunningham drops a very generous $5 super chat and says, Hey, Boom, the trick for me is avoiding the spoilers for the next three months until I can play co-op campaign with my son fingers crossed yeah dude i mean i and i and i think that is i mean listen we understand why it doesn't take away from the fact that people are going to be disappointed because that that's a beautiful story dan is going to play with his son i mean that's who could ask for better that's me like me wanting to play a halo with my nephew tyler who is my the love of my life outside of mrs boom and i can't because of x y and z and and that does suck but hopefully they do Get that working for you, Dan. And uh, yeah, just stay off, stay off the interwebs. And just when we see Halo, have one of those words that just <laughs> blocks it out for you. But listen, yeah. folks, thank you so much for being here. 525 people turned out. I'm hoping there's a lot of new people there. If you're new and you and like the banter, you, you know, you like the 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 energy that I bring and and the panels I put together I, that you know bring for each show. Consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Um, and of course, we will see you back here this evening at 7 p.m. with the primetime gaming uh, panel and crew. But let's get into the outro. To start first with Cotton McCass, first time on camera. You're a That's handsome great. gentleman, and it was great to finally meet you in real person and not just see the Cotton McCast um, right. icon. Uh, tell everyone where they could reach out to you on social media, but more importantly, what else you got going on, Cotton? Oh man, I've been I've been busy, been busy actually working, traveling, a bunch of stuff like that. But uh, it's good to be here. I'm glad I could actually turn my camera on for the first time, and not <laughs> I just never really had a, a place to really set up. My house is full of roommates, and oh man, it's just chaos here. So, <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool to be here and uh, see you guys face to face in a way. Um, I mean, everyone should be stoked for this game. It's gonna be killer. And if you want to talk about it, you can uh. Hit me up on Twitter. My Twitter handle is exactly how it appears by my name there. It's Cotton with one O and an underscore. And on my Twitter, you can find my Xbox Gamer tag and my PSN tag and uh, my my Twitch. And I'm hopefully going to be streaming a bunch of Halo when this comes out. And like I said, hit me up if you want to play any games or talk about it. What's 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 a, what's amaze balls about this, folks? Is we are talking about uh, like like. 
school kids, our excitement yeah. for Halo, but we're getting a double dose, folks. Remember, you're getting multiplayer on top of an, and what seems to be an incredible single player. Man, great time to be Xbox fans and great time for the next couple of months. November, December is going to be all Xbox all day long with, uh, with Forza and now Halo. It's, my God, b- best time to be an Xbox fan or potentially a new Xbox fan. But, Cotton, great to work with you again. Fuzzy Belvedere, let's get you on out of here, brother. You got a couple of shows that you're on. like you to promote those. And also, mm-hmm. where can people reach out to you on social media? Well, it was awesome being here. Thank you, Boom, for the invite. Man, really, really excited for Halo this uh, this winter, December eighth. Can't come soon enough. Um, for those that you know want to follow me and hear my ramblings about Forza, Halo, <laughs> or or Insurgency Sandstorm, which is my my latest go to game, you can find me on Twitter at fuzzy underscore Belvedere. You can also find me on Mondays with Mav on his channel on Tidbits, going over uh, the new game releases as well as on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find me on Fun Speculation Podcast, also with Mav, as well as Key. You know, talking about, you know, all the gaming platforms and what we've been playing and, and, you know, just gaming news in general. And later that night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, you can catch me on the Shop Podcast with PTK Blam, Pong Soul, and Centurion 1307. Chopping it up on, you know, what's new or what's uh, the latest on Xbox, some things in the news and, you know, the games we've been playing and, and, you know, just chopping it up, having fun. Awesome. Awesome being here. Awesome chat. Awesome panel guys. Greatly appreciate it. No, well, thank you for being here, brother. And uh, N64, Josh, my God, brother. It's so good to work with you again. You are obviously Halo fan. Number one, uh, do me a favor, brother. Tell everyone what you got going on. And quite frankly, you got a lot going on. Like you promote your work. And <laughs> also, where could people reach out to you and strike up a conversation on social media? So anywhere is N64 Josh. Yes, I have a ton of I have a ton of shows. We got the Halo <laughs> Infinite podcast. The Smash Bros. cast is going strong again. The Nintendo Power cast. There's even an Animal Crossing podcast. Like they just they never end. Press pause is another show that we we've got fired back up again. I thought um, I was the hardest working guy, brother. You put me to shame. <laughs> I, yeah, we got I got a Star Wars podcast. I, the, the, like it, they just never end. They never end. I'm I'm podcasting almost every night of the week, and I'm loving it. Uh, I do want to let people know if you're if you're soup like if you really love Halo as much as as we do. I just went back and watched the original E3 teaser, and the pilot, all of his hair is sh- is short. And then he has to just sit and wait and float through space and his hair grows out like I didn't watch it with sound. Chief also doesn't have the cable like the the grapple like they showed in this trailer here. So there might be some things that we can uh, glean from from that older teaser and start tying a few things together. So I just want to encourage people if you if you want to uh, put on your Sherlock Holmes, get your magnifying glass out and go uh, go go find out more more details on your own i think i think i think they've been leaving some breadcrumbs for us yeah i absolutely agree and last but not least another hard-working individual best in the business uh someone that came on new to the scene let's say about maybe about a year ago and i think the community is better for it mav thank you so much for being here brother love what you do love the uh family orientation that you bring to all of your shows specifically your friday night cast uh, talk about the, where people could find you on social media but what also you got going on regarding podcasting yeah man uh thanks again uh awesome show here uh, everybody here in the chat, you guys are awesome. Josh, Fuzzy, uh, Cotton, you guys are awesome as well. Uh, check, just check me out on Twitter at Fun Speculation, YouTube Fun Speculation. Like Josh, we got a show pretty much almost every night, um, <laughs> and it, just having a blast doing all these uh, podcasts and shows. And uh, just, just learn more on Twitter, Fun Speculation. Yeah, uh, thank you. So you'll much. see all your updates. Yeah, and 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 folks, uh, like I said, uh, everyone here uh, and everyone you're going to hear tonight, uh, hashtag Boomstick Approved. Um, they are friends of the show. They are friends of this community, and they do unbelievable work. Please support every one of them. All of their information will be available in the show notes once that uploads. And uh, obviously, if you are new, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
Uh, but thanks again, everyone, for being here. We will see you back here tonight for Primetime Gaming at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, I'll close out the show with something that some people may not dig or find nerdy, but it's super important to me. It's something that my dad taught us when we were kids, and he used to say, son, treat others how you want to be treated. And also, it doesn't cost anything to be nice. You live by those rules, and I can guarantee you're going to have an awesome day. So take care, everyone. We'll see you again on tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the newest episode of the Xbox Factor Podcast.